It's Monday, September 23rd. It's the first official day of fall today, and welcome to the Day Weather Podcast. Well, hope everyone had a good weekend. We certainly did cool off, but had a pretty pleasant weekend, especially yesterday. Now, as we work our way into the beginnings of this week, there's really nothing bad coming. In fact, it looks like fall is going to come in very gently to start the week with mild temperatures and partly sunny skies. It'll be a little bit breezy at times, but temperatures here for the first half of the week will rebound as a generally westerly flow will keep our temperatures on the mild side, so fall off to a nice start. Now, as we get to the end of the week, there will be a push of some cooler air arriving later in the week. We're expecting temperatures to cool off a little bit, especially across northern Wyoming, western South Dakota and Montana. As we get into late Wednesday and Thursday, some of that cool air will pour south down along the front range of Wyoming and into Colorado during the second half of the week, mainly just a little bit of a cool down. Any showers with that front during the second half of the week shouldn't amount to too much. But what we really see in the longer term are much bigger changes right at the end of the month. If you remember our podcast late last week, we had talked about some signals, some signs that we could see in the long-range charts and the way the jet stream was behaving that as we got right to the end of September and to the first couple of days of October that we could have a major change to colder wet weather and certainly that is showing up in our computer modeling this morning and there's still a fair amount that could change but our confidence is growing that as we get to the end of next weekend and right around September 30th next Monday a week from today and into the following Tuesday and Wednesday I think the first real salvo of really cold air from the northwest part of Canada into the central Rockies and high plains will move in. Basically what it is is the first real shot of bona fide fall weather, the type of weather that brings the first frost freeze conditions that can in the growing season for some of you out there bring a significant chance of more snow to the high country. And that's something that hunters are going to need to pay attention to. And we could even see some of the first flakes of snow across some of the lower elevations. Now, I'm talking about something that is about seven to nine days away. But that's why you listen to this podcast, to stay ahead of things. We'll keep you up to date. If there's any big changes in the pattern, we'll talk about it all week here. So, to recap, the first half of this week, very benign. The second half of the week, a little cooler with a few showers, but nothing really significant. Bigger changes come late next weekend, mainly late Sunday into next Monday and Tuesday, and we've got plenty of time to sort out the details. Thanks for listening to the Day Weather Podcast. We'll talk to you on Tuesday. Have a good Monday.